Hi, welcome to the session on CMA part one, financial planning, performance and analytics. We are not discussing about uh, revenue recognition, how to recognize revenue over a period of time. Revenue from the sale of goods, revenue by rendering services. Revenue recognition, one of the key uh, and important uh, you know, points in uh, every organization, whether a particular amount received from the sale of goods by rendering services is to be accounted to calculate the profit or to be deferred to the future period. So we'll learn in detail how to recognize the revenue, like when you recognition in the point of sale, where we recognize the revenue, the moment we hand over the goods to the customer. And in some kind of complex organizations like uh, construction industries, where we cannot hand over the product, the final product to the buyer or the customer in a year period or know two years so we'll have to use certain methods like percentage of completion or completed contract method to recognize the revenue and how do we recognize the losses in long-term contracts we also discussed about discuss about uh, the revenue recognition from the installment sales cost recovery deposits okay and uh, the progress Billing system, progressive billing system. But when it comes to the revenue, which is income, you need to question that whether it is earned or unearned. Earned, unearned. Earned portion goes to the income statement. Any income received but not yet earned, see cash received but we haven't delivered the goods, cash received, but we haven't provided the services called unearned. It goes to the balance sheet. As we received cash on the services to be provided in the future, the goods are going to be delivered in the future. Therefore, it will be treated as liability, current liability. Yeah. So we'll learn in detail how to recognize revenue how to defer certain revenues for this we need to just you know uh, take an example like in case of a, a manufacturing industry how the earning process is completed exchange transaction takes place and thereby we recognize revenue goods are produced ready for sale we found a customer we exchange the goods and we accounted it as revenue just by producing the goods we cannot recognize the revenue just by receiving money from the customer we cannot recognize the revenue so the earning process should be completed that is important earning process is to be completed whether it is a product delivery or rendering of services the earning process should be completed in the case of goods, the source is the sale or delivery of the goods. In case of services, you need to provide services. You received cash, but services are yet to be provided. You cannot recognize the revenue. That is unearned revenue. Construction contracts, long term, short term, we use certain methods to recognize the revenue. And the other form of the, the revenues what we get is by letting others to use our assets. Like say we deposit some money with some financial institutions, banks, etc. We get interest. We let others to use our rights. So we get some royalties. We invest in other companies in the form of shares. We get some dividends. So these are the few examples of 
sources of revenues where you receive money and recognize as revenues. You receive money but do not recognize as revenues, depending upon the situation. Okay. In revenue recognition, especially the service industries, they always see the length of the service. Based on this, they recognize revenue. Take an example of an insurance company. An insurance company received a premium of $120,000 on a particular policy to cover a particular asset for a period of 12 months. A insurance company received this full money on say January 1st itself. But they have to provide this service okay, against the risk of loss uh, 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 from Jan to December. So this is going to be distributed on straight line basis over a period of 12 months. Straight line basis. So you see the period 12 months each year each month we recognize ten thousand dollars yeah mostly in our, our service industry we recognize the revenue on straight line basis okay interest royalties and dividends as in when we get notified that interest is being you know calculated and will be credited into your account for that particular period you just recognize the revenue royalties the moment time gets over or the number of units that is sold by your lessee who got royalty rights from you dividends the moment a company where you invested announces the amount of dividend okay so when you earn is different from the realized say for example a particular company said that we sold 10,000 units we give some kind of rights to them and we said that there will be a royalty for each unit say two dollars so the moment you get this information from your client a lessee he is supposed to pay twenty thousand dollars is supposed to pay you twenty thousand dollars this is earned okay so they mentioned clearly that they sold ten thousand units and they owe you at the rate of two dollars twenty thousand dollars you receive an intimation from your client that they sold ten thousand units income is earned and along with that a check is attached or a transfer uh, 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 is attached so you received an intimation that it's been transferred to your bank account. So the earning process is completed and you realize the amount also. When earning process is completed and it is realized, you can straight away record cash account or bank account with the income account, dividend, interest, priorities, whatever it is. Both took place, right? Earned and realized. But you just received an intimation that we sold 10,000 units. We owe you at the rate of $2.20,000. Okay. And we'll process this amount sold. This is the information you received. So earning process is completed, but not yet realized. So it is realizable. Yet to be received. So check that whether the earning process is completed or not and uh, followed by you received money or not okay realized realizable realized means you provided services you sold goods and the, the settlement is done cash is received realizable means the earning process is completed but you know the amount is escalated to future we are going to receive in future earned realized earned realizable in both the cases, the earning process should be completed first. 
the moment earning process is completed you check whether you received the cash yes realized not yet received it is yet to be realized Hi, I'm Ram, a CMA candidate at Let's Learn Global. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was coincidentally referred to Let's Learn Global in the beginning of 2020. While I was joining the course, I was having significant amount of mental block and the fear for the mathematical question. It all went away in due course with the help of Let's Learn Global. Without the help of Mr. Srinivas, our mentor, this wouldn't have been possible. Mr. Srinivas, as a unique way of teaching. He's ensuring that the fundamental concepts are exchanged to the candidates and they really understand and making sure that when they prepare for the exam, the concepts is important. I followed the same instruction while preparing for my CMA part one exam. Um, on 12th of October, 2020, I appeared for CMA part one exam. Last week, caught me by surprise by me passing CMA part one, which I thought it was merely impossible. A big thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, currently, I am preparing for CMA part two under the same leadership and the guidance in the same exact way. And I hope to clear part two very soon. In this occasion, I would like to personally and sincerely thank all the team members of Let's Learn Global.